Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, for the King of glory is coming in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord God Almighty, strong and mighty in battle. Praise God, we welcome you on another Bible study night, and that's what it is. It's Bible study, a sure foundation in the Word of God here at SRC. And so uh, we trust and pray that you've been having a wonderful week thus far. Today it's Wednesday. Uh, it, uh, we all regard this as hump day. Praise God. In the middle of the week. So, hey, you're getting over the hump. Praise God. Hallelujah. So go with us, if you will, in your Bibles, the book of Genesis, the 24th chapter. We started that 24th chapter on last week. Uh, part one, and now we're coming to part two, and one of the things that we always do, and that is we review some of the things that we shared uh, the week prior, so you can be up to speed on those things in which we're teaching, and uh, so get out your Bible in book form if you have it. If you don't have it in book form, if you got it on your iPad, iPhone, iPad, whatever device that you may have, praise God, go ahead and get it out, and again, I want to remind those of you who that you may be viewing it for the first time. I don't know. Uh, but if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. It's free of charge. Listen, all you have to do is take the 25 seconds to subscribe. And uh, if, you, if you like what we're teaching and, and ministering, hey, give us a thumbs up. Praise God. We, we would love we would love for you to give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't told your friends about it, tell your friends about it as well. So we, um, we, uh, we're in that 24th chapter. And again, one of the things that we like to do, and that is do a brief review and then move forward. We had read up to the 14th verse on last week. And so I just want us to back up to the 12th verse of that 24th chapter. It says, and he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray you, listen, this is Eliezer now in his prayer. I pray you send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. In other words, Eliezer, listen. This, this was God all the way, and he, listen, he didn't want his own instincts or his own feelings getting in the way of things, uh, and, and so he, he makes this prayer, and, he, and, he, and he's, he's seeking leading from the Lord. Basically, he's saying, Lord, I need you to lead me in all of this. How, listen, what if every child of God did that? No, notice what I just said. What if every child of God, you know, the Bible says trust in the Lord. With all thine heart, lean not into thine own understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. We need to learn how to lean and look to the Lord for every facet of our life. Are you hearing me? And I, and I said this on last week. If, if, if we stay in the moment of always, uh, as the Bible says, we, Jesus said this, that we ought to pray always. Uh, Paul makes a, a, numer a number of uh, references to prayer, you know, and, and if, we, if we stayed in an attitude of prayer, uh, if we stayed in, in those moments in terms of walking with God where we, we are constantly being conscious and alert of his indwelling presence and power in our, in our life, if we, we walk with him, He'll, he'll, listen, he'll walk with us and talk with us. If we learn how to acknowledge him in all of our ways, he'll direct our paths. And so that, that's all part of that fellowship and that communion that should be ongoing with him. We need to be able to see him in every moment of our life. We need to be able to, to look to him every day of our life from the time that we get up in the morning, tell God thank you. And, and, and as we go throughout that day, because we don't know what's going to happen throughout the course of a day, but he does. And if we stay in that communion and that fellowship with him, if we, if, 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 if we commune with him, if we talk with him throughout the day, and, and in every situation that we face in life, if we look for the Lord in those situations, if we look for the Lord in those moments, and if we do that, we will have what I like to call God moments. Listen to what I just said. Throughout the course of our daily living, if, if we, whether it's going to the grocery store, whether it's the marketplace, wherever, going to the doctor's office, wherever, going to the dentist, wherever, going to the park, wherever, 
Listen, be mindful of God consistently and constantly and, and, and look for him throughout the course of your daily activities and routine. Are you hearing me? Because if you do that, if you do that, because let me tell you something. God, he, he's omnipresent. He's everywhere at one time all the time. He's omnipotent. He's all powerful. He's omniscient. He's all knowing. And in that he's all of that and then some which makes him awesome. Let me tell you something. God will direct your every path. When you can see him in every situation and everything, li listen, th you, you can say thank you and regardless of, listen, regardless of what happens, guess what? You always have a positive outlook even in a negative world. Are you hearing me? Because you will see God in those moments. And we need to learn how to walk with him so we can have those God moments. And so uh, one of the things about Eleazar, and I want to read that 12th verse again. It says, and he said, oh, Lord God of my, ma Lord God of my master Abraham, I, listen, I pray you, I pray you, send me, good, listen, good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. So he did not trust in his own instincts or his own wisdom personal wisdom, okay? But rather, he, he sought the leading of the Lord. And Let me tell you something. When you seek the leading of the Lord, he'll lead you. Are you hearing me, beloved? You will have what I call God moments. And he says, Behold, I stand here by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. And let, li listen to what he says, and let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, let down your pitcher, I pray you, that I may drink, and she shall say, drink, and I will give your camels drink also. Let the same be she that you have, listen, that you have appointed for your servant Isaac. <laughs> that you have, not that I appointed, but that you appointed. Because I know, listen, when you make the appointment and when you appoint it, it's going to be the right one. Glory to God. Your servant Isaac, and thereby shall I know that you have showed kindness unto my master. My God, my God, my God. You know, it was kind of like uh, he put out a, 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 a fleece, so to speak. Uh, uh, and, 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 and if you recall, you know, in the, under the Old Testament, the Spirit of God did not listen. God's Spirit would be upon them are with them, but not within them. Because remember now, we have a new covenant, a better covenant under better promises. Christ in us now, the hope of glory. Are you with me? Being born of the Spirit in the new covenant or under God's new economy, where in, under the old covenant, listen, God's Spirit would just come upon them at times. And, and uh, 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 it was Gideon who, who put out a fleece. Well, guess what? God doesn't lead us by fleeces now. Watch, watch this, hear this. For as many as led by the Spirit of God, they're the sons of God. God leads us by his Spirit now. Under God's new economy, under the new covenant, Christ in you. Christ in you. So God leads us by his Spirit. Are you hearing me? When you were born of that Spirit, filled with the Spirit, God leads us by his spirit now. You don't have to put out a fleece because if you put out a fleece now, you'll get fleeced. Ah, some of y'all will get that. But so we, we, we come to that 14th verse and now we move into that 15th verse and it says, no, notice what verse 15 says. And it came to pass. And it came, th there are some things that haven't come to pass that needs to come to pass for you on tonight. There are some things that haven't come to pass that needs to come to pass. And if you, Watch this here. And if you acknowledge God, if you look to him, what, what does the Bible say? Looking unto Jesus, the author and finish of our faith. If you look to him, set your affections on things above and not on this earth. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. So always look to him. And, and notice, notice what verse 15 says. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. What do you need to come to pass? And it came to pass. Before he had done speaking, listen at this, before he had done speaking, that behold, Rebecca, woo, 
came out who was born to Bethuel, the son of Milcah, the wife of Nahar, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. And so we got the first mention of, 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 of Rebekah as recorded in the scripture, who's going to be the wife of Isaac, my God, which she's going to have a prominent role concerning our Redeemer. Are you hearing me? Let me read it again. And it came to pass before he had done speaking, before Eliezer had done speaking, that behold, Rebekah came out who was born to Bethuel, the son of Milcah, the wife of Nahar, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher, with her pitcher upon her shoulder, her water pitcher. Now go back to verse 14 again. And it came to pass that the damsel said, to whom I shall say, let down your pitcher, I pray you that I may drink, and she shall say, drink, and I will give your camels drink also. Let the same, listen, let the same be she that you have appointed for your servant Isaac. Woo! Glory to God. My God. And thereby shall I know that you have showed kindness unto my master. My God. In other words, the prayer is being going to be answered. Are you hearing me? Let's go to verse 16. Listen, and the damsel was very fair. Good looking woman. Listen, she was very fair, beautiful, to look upon a virgin. Neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. My God. My God, my God, my God. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Listen, and filled her pitcher and came up. And of course, this is, you know, th this would simply be a type of the church partaking of the water of life. Hey, do you need to be filled up? My God, let's read on. And the servant, who was the servant? Eleazar, ran to meet her and said, let me, I pray you, drink a little water of your pitcher. Look at verse 14 again. Let's read verse 14 again. And it came to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, let down your pitcher, I pray you that I may drink, and she shall say drink, and I will give your camels drink also. Let the same be she that have appointed for your servant Isaac, and thereby shall I know that you have showed kindness unto my master, my God. We seeing the fulfillment, listen, of the prayer in which Eleazar prayed, my God, because Rebecca shows up. Look how, look, look, look. Look, look at God responding. Verse 15 again. And it came to pass before he had done speaking that behold, Rebekah came out who was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahar, Abraham's brother with her pitcher upon her shoulders. Verse 16. And the damsel was very beautiful, a very fair to look upon, a virgin. Neither had any man known her. She went down to the well, filled her pitcher and came up. My God. Lord Jesus. Verse 17. And the servant, Eliezer, ran to meet her and said, Let me, I pray you, drink a little water of your pitcher. My God. And she said, Drink, my Lord. And he hasted and let, listen, and she hasted and let down her pitcher upon her hand and gave him drink. And when she, listen, and when she had done giving him drink, she said, Listen, I'm going to draw water for your camels. My God also. <laughs> Lord Jesus. And, sh and listen, l let me read that again. Verse 19. And when she had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for your camels also until they have done drinking. Wow. Wow. Th that, was, that was quite a task which she was doing. Now, because if you keep in mind, he had 10 camels. Because if you go back in the 10th verse of that 24th chapter, uh, mm, was it the 24th verse? Mm, no, let's, let, me, let me back up. It was, it, was, it was back a little further. But I, I anywho, yeah, the, it's the 10th verse. And the servant took 10 camels of the camels of his master and departed. And the servant took 10 camels of the camels of his master and departed. For all of the goods of his master were in his hand. 
And he arose and went to Mesopotamia unto the city of Nahar. So there were 10 camels. She had gave him to drink. And, and let's read verse 19 again. And when she had done giving him drink, Eleazar, she said, now what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw water for your camels also until they have done drinking. My God. And if you go back to that 14th verse again, did he not listen? And it came to pass that the damsels are to whom I shall say, let down your pitcher. And I pray you that I may drink. Listen, it's all being fulfilled. It's all coming to pass. Are you with me? And it came to pass. And it came to pass. Verse 15, that first uh, 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 a portion of that verse. And it came to pass. My God. And then we back down in the 19th verse. She gave him to drink also his camels. And then verse 20 says, and she hasted and emptied her pitcher into the trough and ran again unto the well to draw water and to draw for all his camels. My God, my God, my God, my God. Lord Jesus. That, that's, that's, that's powerful. In verse 21, and the man wondering at her held his peace to witness whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. My, 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 my. Ooh, look at, look, look at God working. My God, my God. And, and, and that, that was a, that was a, that was a tall task. You know, she, she drawing the water, gave him to drink. The, camels drink a lot of water. And listen, he had 10 of them. So girlfriend was, listen, she was going back and forth with the pitcher to fill the trough for all of those camels to drink. God had to be in all of that. Because she could have said, uh-uh, get your own water. <laughs> she could have said, you go draw the water for the camels. But she, listen to this. She's fulfilling all of this. She's doing this. Are you hearing me? So it's obvious. And that's why when, when, when we... When we uh, when we read about it, it's, it's obvious that Eleazar was seeking the Lord and seeking his direction. He didn't want any of this to be of his own doing, of his own instincts. Because if you look at verse 12 again, let's look at verse 12 again. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray you, I pray you, I pray you, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Again, Eleazar did not want any of the, this to be of his own doing, of his own instinct. How, how much better would we be off, amen, as believers, if we would have that attitude, acknowledging God in all of our ways, seeking his face in what he wants. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. Verse 23, 21, I'm sorry. And the man wondering at her held his peace to witness whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. Uh, in other words, he was carefully watching her and listening and waiting because, listen, the, this, this is a God moment that's taking place. You see, if you go back where he, he prays, Eleazar prays in, the, in that 12th verse where he prays and, 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 and he's He's, he's acknowledging God. He's seeking God. He's trusting in the Lord to give him direction, to give him wisdom, to show him what to do. Are you with me? And then we see it coming to pass. And that verse 21 says, and the man wondering at her held his peace to witness whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. In other words, making sure that this is of God. Are you hearing me? Verse 22, and it came to pass as the camels had done drinking that the man took a golden Earring, okay, which is which is a, a jewel for her forehead, uh, of a half shekel weight and two bracelets for her hand of ten shekels weights of gold, which amounted to some over five thousand dollars. All right, and verse twenty three, and said, "Whose daughter are you? Tell me, I pray you. Is there room in your father's house for us to lodge in?" Mmm, mmm. Do you have room for the Holy Spirit in your house? Just thought I'd throw that out there. Do you have room? That'll preach. That dog will hunt all day long. 
Do you have room? Do you have room? My God, my God, my God, my God. Verse 24. And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, which she bore unto Nahar. Mm. In other words, uh, Re Re Rebecca wasn't a concubine. Keep in mind, she's a very beautiful woman and she was a virgin. She wasn't a concubine, okay? Verse 25. She said, moreover unto him, we have both straw and provender enough and room to lodge in. In other words, she basically said, there is room. The Holy Spirit is waiting for an answer from, from us. Do you have room for him? Is there room? Is there room? Is there room in your life, my God, for him? And that verse 26, and the man bowed down his head and worshiped the Lord. When was the last time you worshiped him, my God? When was the last time that you worshiped him? Man, that, that, listen, with all of this coming to pass, that, that, that's enough to worship God. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. And the man bowed down his head and worshiped the Lord. My God, will you worship him? Will you bow down and worship him? My God. Verse 27, and he said, blessed be the Lord God. Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham who has not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I being in the way the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren. In other words, this, this shows his prayer that he made unto God. It, it shows that the, the significance of all of this and the fact that he understands it. And the damsel ran and told them of her mother. Listen, and the damsel ran and told them of her mother's house of these things. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban. And Laban ran out unto the man, unto the well. My God. So, so Rebekah was a, a, a witness of what she had experienced, which, which uh, brought others to Eleazar and uh, Guess what? We, we must be a witness to what we've experienced. If you've experienced Jesus Christ, be a witness of that. Do you not know that we are ambassadors for Christ? What does an ambassador do? And an ambassador is a representative. My God, Lord Jesus, we are, to, we are to bring others to him. Verse 30, and it came to pass when he saw the earring and the bracelets upon his sister's hands, my God. And when he heard the words of Rebekah, his sister, saying, Thus spoke the man unto me, that he came unto the man. Listen. Thus spoke the man unto me, that he came unto the man. And behold, he stood by the camels at the well. Wow. So, so, so Laban saw and heard. Laban saw and heard. Guess what? The world must see and hear. And Paul said this, that we are living epistles read of all men. My God. Some people would rather see a sermon than to hear one. Mmm. 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 Let's read on. And he said, come in, you blessed of the Lord. Why do you stand without? For I have prepared the house and room for the camels. My God. And the man, Eleazar, came into the house, and he, Laban, undergirded his camels and gave straw and provender for the camels and water to wash his feet and the men's feet who were with him, who was with Eleazar. Praise God. My God, my God. This, we, we, we see in this the prayer of Eleazar uh, con, 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 concerning his, uh, uh, con, con, concerning uh, his, his master Abraham, and in the prayer that he prayed, we, we see this thing coming to fruition. You know, uh, uh, he, he, was, he had a task. He, he, didn't, he didn't want to, uh, he didn't want it to be about him, but all about the Lord. He, 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 wanted, he wanted to be led of God in all of his doings. Uh, you know, 
the, the Bible says something very powerful. Uh, 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 the Lord says, my ways aren't your ways. My thoughts aren't your thoughts. One of my prayers is that, that I, I purpose to try and pray this daily. Lord, show me your ways. Lord, make known your thoughts to me. See, because it's not about you, but it's all about him and, 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 and what, what he wants done. For, listen, for I know the thoughts and the plans that I have for you, saith the Lord. They're good and not evil to give you an expected end. So it's, it's not about you. It's all about him. Are you hearing me? And, and Eliezer wanted to, uh, uh, he, he wanted to, to do that which he believed the Lord had bidded him to do. He, he didn't want it to be about him. We, we read about that in the 12th verse. Uh, uh, and he didn't want his own instincts and his own wisdom and his own ideas to come into play with anything that was going on. But he, listen, and simply put, let me put it like this here. He was trusting in the Lord with his heart and expecting God to guide him and to lead him. How much better off we will be if we did the same thing. Not saying that, that we, some people don't, but that, uh, uh, that, that, that some, you know, there are a lot of them who don't. There are a lot of them who make it about them. There are a lot of people who uh, fail and, that, and that's, why we, that's why sometimes we get in the messes we get in because we didn't acknowledge God about it. And so when we fail to acknowledge him, when we fail to seek him, when we fail to inquire from him, from him we end up getting in a mess and a hucky muck, and then we got to cry out and call on God to come get us in the mess. Are you hearing me? And it would have been much better had we just simply did as Eleazar did, Listen, acknowledge him, seek him, follow his leading. Are you hearing me? Uh, how, how, listen, how much heartache we would save ourselves if we would do that. And that's why, you know, I, I say keep, keep God in all of the moments of your life. And if you keep him in all the moments of your life, you will have what I call God moments. And, and what we're reading now, Eleazar was having a God moment, a God experience. We saw it come to pass. We saw, listen, we see it coming to pass. We see a fulfillment here. Are you hearing me, beloved? Praise God. So I'm not out of word, just out of time. And listen, just out of time, not out of word. And uh, listen, this, let, let, me, let me share this with you. This Sunday, we are having what we call Culture Day. Uh, our, our, our Solid Rock is a very diverse ministry. And uh, so we got, you know, we kind of got a smorgasbord here. We got a little bit of everything. Uh, 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 Brazilian, Puerto Rican, Jamaican, uh, South African. We, we got to, listen, we represent a little bit of everything because that's how heaven is going to be. L listen to what I just said. That's how heaven is. See, listen, he heaven, heaven is not going to be segregated. Are you hearing me? Listen to what I just said. Heaven is not going to be segregated. Are you with me? We, it, it's amazing, and I get a little frustrated with some of the nonsense and the no sense that, 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 that people have. Are, are you hearing me, beloved? So we're having Culture Day here this Sunday, and um, uh, all about the, the, the different uh, cultures of this ministry, uh, they're, they're going to they're going to be represented, and, and they're listen. They're going to bring their 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 favorite dish, whatever. If you would like to join us, we would love to have you uh, be a part of that. So, guess what? Our services start at 10 a.m. sharp each and every Sunday. We would love to have you to join in with us on this Sunday for that. Also, uh, uh, bring a friend. Praise God. Bring a friend, glory to God. Tell someone else as well. And again, to those who have been following us on Facebook, for those who have been watching us on YouTube, if you have not become a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It doesn't cost you anything. The only thing it costs you is the 25 seconds it takes to go ahead and subscribe to it.
If, if, if these teachings have been a blessing to you, give us a thumbs up. Glory to God. Give us a thumbs up. And, and let me say this. Continue to be safe. Uh, uh, it's, it's been, it's, we've been experiencing some very hot weather this year. So stay cool. Glory to God. Don't get out there and try. Listen, don't get out there and try and cut the whole yard in one swing and edge and weed eat and do all of that stuff. No, learn how to pace yourself. Are you hearing me, beloved? Learn how to pace yourself. Use wisdom. Be wise. Glory to God. And so, again, I'm not out of word, just out of time. So in the meantime and in between until the next time, listen, we hope to see you. And by all means, come join us this Sunday. We would love to have you. Our services start at 10 a.m. here at The Rock. We're located at 12855 Old St. Augustine Road. And we look forward to seeing you. And until that time, we love you in Jesus. Be blessed.